This s'more machine is not for me. It's for my wife because she loves s'mores and s'mores are her favorite dessert. And back when I was just a line cook and I wasn't making much money, I used to make her food stuff. So this, Meg, this s'more machine is for you. Basically just three tea lights in a piece of wood. I think it was $15. We're gonna use skewers. So we're making one of these. We're gonna curl tighter and it's gonna hold this skewer in place right here. Now this side needs to be able to lift out. So we're gonna bend another skewer to be a catch. Take your pliers and all you're gonna do is bend it so it creates this little U, just like that. You can squeeze the top down from here to here to bring it in a little closer so it's not skewing too far off the center. The skewer can lay right in there, and then when you need to, you can lift it straight out the top. You don't want two of these because if there's any weight, you don't want this to kind of skip out, right? So you want something to be able to hold it in place on the other side. So the other one, take the tip, this time I'm using needle nose pliers, and you can roll it into itself. To make a little loop. So then it goes in this side, and you're turning it, it has some place to stick so it won't pop out. Boom, boom, one and two. And from the bottom point of the bend, take your tape measure and you're gonna mark three inches down, right there. That's gonna be your cut point. We're gonna repeat on this side from the bottom here to three inches. Now this is the tough part. You gotta cut these. I have 10 snips here. You're gonna sit right on that mark. And you're gonna watch your eyes. Notice how the camera's backing up at this point. All right, we're gonna do another one. I'm the one in the line of fire here. This is cut, get you get back in here. <laughs> oh, it wants to. Oh, see, didn't need to back away. The money point where you're not flame up burning, but still browning, is sitting two inches above the, the candle. So what we're gonna do is since we have three inches, that means we need to drill exactly one inch holes on each side to accommodate these skewers. You're gonna mark one inch down the bit. So when we drill down into the wood, we know that as soon as we hit that black mark, that's where we stop. We are gonna drill a little off center here because see, we don't wanna go directly in the line because this sits off a little bit. So we're gonna step it back and that's gonna be where we're gonna do one hole. And the center of this is where we're gonna do the second hole. I'm gonna center it where I like it and I'm gonna mark it. And I'm watching the little black part. And I'm gonna stop as soon as that black mark hits the top of the wood, which it just did. The other side, center it, and you are gonna mark it again. I didn't buy the round ones, I was really dumb. I bought these flat ones, so if you do it at home, buy the round ones. The drill bit, even those are flat, it should still fit. I picked the a drill bit that fit, slides right in there. So the second one comes right in, and should pop right down in there to the inch hole depth. So you just want to make sure that these guys are lined up. Take the end, where the opening is, and we're going to grab it, and we're simply just going to bend it so it kind of resembles a handle that you can turn with. So look at that. In a matter of minutes, you can do this. And now this guy lays right in front and you have a rotisserie. I hope my wife likes it. Should we make some s'mores? Let's do it. Get yourself some bonus points. S'more city. Look at that. Campfires at your kitchen table. If you like this and you want to see other silliness and things that taste good, click below. That is so good.